tides at Grandma's house in Rhode Island. Let's learn physics. Note the big triangle rock. And see that big, long pile of rocks jutting out there acting as a breakwater? This is where we used to swim as little kids. This is low tide. The rocks are exposed. A lot more of the beach is exposed. Not great for swimming, but good for playing in the water and finding stuff. Normally about 12 hours separate high tide and low tide. This is high tide, a lot less of the beach is exposed, and that entire breakwater is pretty much totally covered with water. There's that triangle rock again. High tide's good for swimming, and good for putting in boats, and that's exactly what that man is doing right there. This beach is what we always called the little beach. Never had nearly as much seaweed when I was growing up, but we used to swim there all the time. It was lifeguarded and everything. Again, this is high tide. In the next picture, check out that big rock offshore. This is high tide, high water. Here's low tide. That rock is definitely much more exposed and you can probably walk out to it. We always used to walk out on this breakwater at low tide and dad caught a lobster once. Grandma cooked it. If you're into looking at tidal pools and finding clams in the beach, low tide is the time to do it. But, if you're looking at putting in your boat, you're looking at swimming with some deep water, eh, high tide's the time for that. 